So now let's see how we can utilize polar coordinates filter inside of GIMP. So if you want to create like a global effect, then you can utilize polar coordinates filter. But for that, you need to have a 360 degree SDRI image, which is seamless. So I'm going to go around and open up one image right here. So I'm just going to go around over here onto my GGU drive right here, just like this. And then I'm going to go around under images. And over here, you can see that I have this particular image right here, which is a panorama 360 uh, degree SDRI image. So I'm just going to go around and open it up. So now this is um, uh, sized out together. And let's say what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the polar coordinates filter for this one. So for that, you need to go around onto filter and then go to distort right here and then you can go around onto polar coordinate and once you do that you can see that the image actually goes around and then uh obtains it uh, itself into a spear like structure right here just like this as you can see and once that is done you can see that the sky is on the center but what i can also do is i can go around and change around the circle depth right here just like this and you can see that it changes around the circle depth uh, percent right here just like this as well but let me just go around over here and increase out the circle depth right here just like this to 100 percent so that everything circles out right here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go around and map everything backwards right here just like this and then what happens is that the image actually goes around onto the opposite sector as you can see right here so right now it's actually mapped on onto the top right here that means the top part that is the sky is actually on the center but i want it on the opposite side so i'm just going to go around and disable the map from the top and now you can see that the sky is on the top and you can see that everything turns like into a planet like structure right here just like this and you got the um, entire uh, content right here just like this like a small globe as you can see right here you can also go around and then disable the two polar to actually disable the uh, uh, coordinates right here so that it actually expands out on the side as well as you can see so that is the effect that you can actually do as well just like this as you can see and that is what you have or it can simply go back to the polar polar right here to get back the effect right here just like this so that is what you have as you can see and then you can go around and change around the offset angle as well to rotate it ar around as well so you can see that it is rotating around as I change around the offset angle over here as well so that is what you have so now you can go around and then see that you can go around and choose around the middle as well so you can go around over here and change around the x and y coordinates right here and choose around the middle as you like as well so that is what you have as you can see so you can go around and see that now the middle is actually chosen out as you actually go around and you can change around the coordinates right here just like this and it changes around everything right here and then resizes out the content as you can see right here and that is what you have so you can see that this is what you have right here and the middle is changed out you can also go around and pick a certain location right here by clicking and that will be chosen around as the center right here just like that as well well let me just go around over here and then uh, disable the choose middle right here so that it comes back onto the default section right here just like this so apart from that, what you can also do is you can go around and then disable the preview or enable the preview as you uh, can see right here. You can disable and enable it to see it what you have and you can see the split view to see the before and after as well just like this and even change around the opacity over here just like this uh to go around and control it out right here but let me just go around and set it out to 100 percent itself right here so once that is done you can also go around and utilize the blending mode right here just like this and then let's say for example go around and then um, use uh, other blending mode like you can go around and multiply everything out right here and then just have the image on top of the original image just like this as well so you can see that it is processing and that is the effect that you have right here once you multiply but let me just go around onto replace right here so that everything is actually just replaced out so once you're happy with the overall result you can simply go around and press ok right here and everything will be applied as you can see right here and this is the overall result that you have and that is how you can work around with the polar coordinates filter inside of GIMP so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe